Hey, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to remove chromatic aberration from photos with an iPad Pro and Procreate, right after this intro. Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? What's going on? It's Chow time again, and I'm David Chow. Have you ever thought about or needed a way to remove chromatic aberration from photos? Well, I have the solution for you. Before we get started though, what is chromatic aberration? Well, chromatic aberration is the purple fringing around highlights on your photos, and it usually occurs when you take a photo uh, with your aperture wide open at say 1.8, 1.4, or 1.2. Um, and it's typically uh, in photos that are taken on like bright days, bright sunny days. Um, there are other instances where uh, chromatic aberration may occur, but in my uh, experience, I have always seen chromatic aberration in my photos when I take it on sunny days. So, how do you remove that annoying purple fringe from photos with Procreate? Here's how. Let's assume you already have your photo imported into your iPad. Instead of creating a new Procreate document, you want to bring the photo directly into Procreate, and you can do that by tapping on the photo option on the upper right of the interface. That will open up your photo album. Just select the photo you want to fix, and it'll open up the picture in Procreate. Next, let's duplicate that photo layer and blur it out just a little bit. How much? I don't think it really matters, but don't blur it out to the point where you don't even recognize the picture anymore. I'd say about 20% or so. Once you have it blurred, let's change the layer's blend mode to color. Then, create a mask layer on top of the duplicated photo that you just blurred. Reverse out the fill color of the mask layer. Making it all black hides the blurred layer below it. Now you should be able to see the original photo with that ugly chromatic aberration, that annoying purple fringe. With your Apple Pencil or finger, select white as your color and select the airbrush. With the airbrush selected, simply paint over the layer mask wherever you see chromatic aberration in the photo. That's it. Pretty simple, right? If you thought this video was helpful, please give it a like and please do share it. Please also consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.